Every flavor journey in the Caribbean begins with a visit to the bustling spice markets. It's here, amidst the hustle and bustle, where the essence of Caribbean cuisine truly comes to life. These markets are a sensory overload, a symphony of sight, smell, and sound that is as vibrant as the islands themselves. From the fiery scotch bonnet peppers, a staple in many a Caribbean dish, to the fragrant allspice, a key ingredient in the quintessential Jamaican jerk seasoning, the array of spices is nothing short of astounding. Each one with a story to tell, a history intertwined with the culinary traditions of the Caribbean. Let's not forget the cinnamon, nutmeg, and cloves, which not only add depth of flavor to the dishes, but also carry nostalgic notes, harking back to the colonial times when these spices were highly coveted and traded across the world. And then there's the annatto, a little less known but equally significant, often used to lend a vibrant yellow-orange hue to the dishes, a visual feast for the eyes. But these markets are not just about the spices. They are a testament to the Caribbean's rich and diverse cultural fabric, a fusion of African, European, and indigenous influences. You'll find a plethora of produce, from tropical fruits like mangoes and guavas, to root vegetables like yams and cassavas. Each ingredient plays its part, coming together to create a culinary tapestry that is unique to this part of the world. These markets are the starting point, the first step on our flavorful journey. They are where the magic begins, where fresh produce meets fragrant spices, setting the stage for the culinary delights that are to come. So as we embark on this exploration of flavors, let's remember that it all starts here, with the spices. The spices are the soul of Caribbean cuisine, laying the foundation for our flavorful exploration. They are a testament to the region's rich history and cultural diversity, a reflection of the Caribbean's vibrant spirit. So as we delve deeper into this culinary journey, Let's keep our senses open, ready to embrace the symphony of flavors that the Caribbean has to offer. Our first stop is Jamaica, the home of jerk. Ah, uh, Jamaica, a land of reggae, vibrant culture, and a cuisine that dances on the tongue just as its people dance to the rhythm of life. You see, Jamaican cuisine is as much a story of its people as it is a tale of flavors. At the heart of this culinary narrative sits the iconic jerk seasoning, a melody of scotch bonnet peppers, allspice, thyme, and a symphony of other spices, each playing its part to create a harmony of flavors. The jerk seasoning we know and love today is a testament to Jamaica's resilience and creativity. It's a culinary tradition born out of necessity, dating back to the days of the Maroons, runaway slaves who took refuge in Jamaica's mountainous regions. To survive, they had to be resourceful, creating a seasoning blend from what nature provided and using it to preserve and flavor their food. This was the birth of jerk. The process of making jerk chicken is a labor of love, an art form that has been passed down generations. It begins with the preparation of the jerk marinade, a fiery concoction of scotch bonnet peppers, crushed allspice berries, fresh thyme, and an array of other spices. The chicken is then marinated, allowing these bold flavors to permeate every fiber of the meat. But the magic truly happens when the marinated chicken hits the grill. Traditionally, jerk chicken is cooked over pimento wood coals, which infuse the meat with a distinctive smoky flavor. The result? A beautifully charred exterior that gives way to tender, juicy meat, bursting with flavor. It's a sensory experience. The sizzle of the chicken on the grill, the tantalizing aroma wafting through the air, and finally, the explosion of flavors with each bite. To delve deeper into the cultural significance of jerk, we turn to a local chef. He tells us, jerk isn't just a cooking method, it's a cultural tradition. It's a symbol of our history, our resilience, and our creativity. When you taste jerk, you're tasting a piece of Jamaica. Indeed, jerk is more than just a dish. It's a reflection of Jamaica's fiery spirit and rich culture. From the Maroons who first created jerk seasoning to the modern-day pitmasters who continue to uphold this culinary tradition, Jerk stands as a testament to Jamaica's enduring spirit. It's a dish that tells a story, a story of resilience, survival, and the power of flavor. And so, as we journey through Jamaica, we're not just tasting jerk chicken, we're partaking in a cultural experience. We're connecting with Jamaica's past, understanding its present, and looking forward to its future. We're celebrating the island's vibrant culture, its resilience, and its creativity and all this through the simple act of savoring a dish. 
Jerk Chicken, a national treasure in Jamaica, truly encapsulates the island's fiery spirit and rich culture. It's a dish that's deeply rooted in history, yet continues to evolve and captivate palates around the world. It's a testament to the power of food, not just as sustenance, but as a medium for storytelling, for connection, for celebration. So the next time you bite into a piece of jerk chicken, remember, you're not just eating a meal, you're partaking in a culinary tradition that's as rich and vibrant as Jamaica itself. Next, we visit Trinidad and Tobago, where Roddy rules the roost. A vibrant island nation, Trinidad and Tobago is a melting pot of cultures, and this is reflected nowhere better than in its cuisine. The island's culinary scene is a glorious symphony of flavors, with African, Amerindian, European, and Chinese influences. But the star of the show is undoubtedly the roti, a delicious legacy of Indian influence on the island. Roti, a type of Indian flatbread, has found a new home in Trinidad and Tobago. It's an everyday food here, a comfort dish that's as versatile as it is delicious. The process of making roti is a delightful dance of flour and water, a simple yet skillful act that transforms these humble ingredients into a soft, fluffy flatbread. It's an art that's been perfected over generations, a testament to the Indian diaspora's enduring culinary influence. But what makes roti truly special is its versatility. While the dough is simple, the fillings are anything but. From curried chickpeas to stewed chicken, from sauteed vegetables to spiced potatoes, the possibilities are endless. Each filling lends its own unique flavor profile, creating a symphony of tastes that dance on the palate. Trinidadian roti is more than just a meal, it's a culinary adventure. One bite might take you through the fiery heat of a well-spiced curry, the next through the comforting richness of a slow-cooked stew. It's a journey through flavors and textures, a gastronomic exploration that's as exciting as it is delicious. And the beauty of roti is that it's a portable feast. Folded up into a neat package, it's a meal you can enjoy on the go, a delicious reminder of the island's vibrant street food culture. Whether you're exploring bustling Port of Spain or enjoying the tranquil beauty of Tobago, a roti is the perfect companion. The influence of Indian cuisine on Trinidad and Tobago is profound. From the fragrant curries to the delectable roti, the flavors of India have found a new home in the Caribbean. But the island has made these flavors its own, infusing them with local ingredients and tastes to create a unique culinary identity. It's a fusion that's as diverse and vibrant as the island itself. But it's not just about the food. The roti stalls of Trinidad and Tobago are a testament to the island's sense of community. They're places where people come together, sharing stories and laughter over a delicious meal. They're a reflection of the island's warm and welcoming spirit, a culinary embodiment of its rich cultural tapestry. So whether you're a seasoned foodie or a curious culinary explorer, Trinidad and Tobago is a must visit. It's a place where food is more than just sustenance. It's a celebration of culture, history, and community. And at the heart of it all is the humble roti, a delicious testament to the island's diverse culinary heritage. From curried chickpeas to stewed chicken, the endless variety of roti fillings offers a culinary adventure in every bite. So the next time you find yourself in Trinidad and Tobago, make sure to try a roti. It's a taste of the island that you won't soon forget. We end our journey in the Bahamas, a paradise for seafood lovers. This archipelago, consisting of over 700 islands and cays, is surrounded by the clear, warm waters of the Atlantic Ocean, making it an abundant source of fresh seafood. And the locals have, over centuries, perfected the art of turning this bounty into a myriad of mouth-watering dishes. Here, each day begins with the local fishermen heading out to sea, their boats gently bobbing on the azure waters under the early morning sun. Their catch of the day could include anything from conch to lobster to grouper, all key ingredients in Bahamian cuisine. Talking to one of these seasoned fishermen, we learn about the deep-seated respect the islanders have for the ocean. The sea is not just a source of livelihood, it is also a source of identity and a key ingredient in their cultural recipe. As our fisherman friend puts it, the ocean provides us with some of the freshest fish you can find anywhere. Conch, lobster, grouper, they're all stars of our Bahamian tables. And when it comes to Bahamian tables, one dish that stands out is the vibrant conch salad. Conch, a large sea snail, is a delicacy in the Bahamas and the salad is a celebration of its unique flavor and texture. 
Preparing this salad is a meticulous process that begins with the extraction of the conch from its beautifully spiraled shell. Then, the conch is diced into bite-sized pieces and mixed with colorful peppers, onions, tomatoes, and a generous squeeze of citrus juice. The result is a refreshing salad that is as pleasing to the palate as it is to the eye. The crunch of the vegetables, the chewiness of the conch, and the tanginess of the citrus come together to create a symphony of flavors and textures that is truly Bahamian. But the conch salad is just one example of how Bahamians turn their seafood bounty into culinary masterpieces. There's also the Bahamian stew fish, where grouper is simmered in a tomato-based sauce with a medley of vegetables and spices. Or the rock lobster, grilled to perfection and served with a side of peas and rice. Each dish is a testament to the island's love for fresh, simple, and flavorful food. And let's not forget the role that local spices play in Bahamian cuisine. From the heat of the bird pepper to the sweet notes of the Bahamian thyme, these spices add an extra layer of complexity to their dishes, making each bite a delightful surprise. So, whether it's the conch salad with its vibrant colors and refreshing flavors, the comforting warmth of the stew fish, or the succulent sweetness of the grilled rock lobster, Bahamian seafood dishes offer a culinary experience that is as diverse and vibrant as the islands themselves. In the Bahamas, food is not just sustenance, it is a celebration. A celebration of the island's natural bounty, of centuries-old traditions, and of a culture that is as warm and inviting as its sunny beaches. And it's this celebratory spirit that is echoed in every bite of their seafood dishes. With its refreshing citrusy flavors and contrasting textures, Bahamian seafood dishes perfectly capture the essence of the island's culinary landscape. They are a testament to the island's love for the ocean, its respect for nature, and its passion for food. And they are a reminder that sometimes the simplest ingredients, when combined with skill and love, can create the most memorable meals. So here's to the Bahamas, a true seafood haven in the heart of the Caribbean.